Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Crusader Kings 3. Welcome back to the Andrew Obsession game series. This will be my character's 17th episode. It is incredible that it has gone this long. But right now, what we are doing is we are working on swaying a duke so that we might have better uh, luck in the election for the Kingdom of Asturias. And we are working on murdering Gaton, who is uh, this guy. And I believe he is the current heir in the election. And it looks like we have a pretty good chance of killing him, which would knock him off and then hopefully start to make people like our candidate a little bit more. But we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, we also have a populist uprising that we are trying to fight back. Uh, they are over here. We are on our way to fight them, and then we're going to turn around, and we have our cousin, Arnaut, who we've been dealing with for our entire life, uh, is trying to become the... He's trying to take our title, and I don't like that, so we're going to call in some dynasty members to start with, including this guy, Prince Eustache. Uh, we want that in this one. I think we can handle the uprising, but we need the one to fight. Call him in. Chaligny, my half-brother, isn't all that strong. Yeah, these two aren't all that good, but also... This guy is rather strong. I don't know where his land is, though. Oh, he is way up in there. Okay, that's fine. We can call him in. He's close enough. That will work. And that should get us a few more in here. Let's unpause. All right, you've joined. Very good. And you've joined. And you did something else. So we are still behind. We may need to use some money and hire some mercenaries. We'll see. But in the meantime, we're going to take out this populist uprising, like I said, and then we should be in a better position to turn around then and only have one thing to worry about here. Nephew is taken prisoner. Oh, well, that's fine. A neighboring ruler, one war. This guy, the king of Brittany, won a war against the... Kingdom of Aquitaine. Oh, nice. Another war. What are you, you're trying to... Oh, man, and you're really strong. This is not good. Yeah, so you want that down there. I mean, that... I'm okay losing that if we need to. Nice. Uh, Yudas is now my player error, but we already knew that. And you are the heir, okay. Somehow, in the act of election, oh, you decided to vote for yourself. How convenient, now that, now we have enough here. Also, oh no, you I think already were, but now Duke, this guy is voting for him as well, which is really good. That is very, very good. We can also negotiate an alliance with him, which isn't that big a deal. We're going to leave that out. We're in line to inherit Aleppo, which my heir is as well. Not a big deal. We're probably never going to see that, but it's good to know. Okay, we can get rid of this here. Enforce that now. That faction is gone. We need to come up here. Uh, what is this? Agents have not discovered any secrets. Okay. Yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's come up here instead. He's coming down this way. That's fine. Uh, this is our murder thing, which technically we don't have to do anymore, but it's pretty successful or like it, it has a pretty good chance. So we might as well do it. Military, let's go ahead and come in here to mercenaries. And we're gonna spend a lot of money, but we're going to hire these mercenaries. Pikemen, light footmen, oh, let's do 
bowmen and light footmen. This one. This is my army. Oh, those are the mercenaries. Yeah, they need to go up here too. All right. So hopefully, between the two of them, I mean, that puts us now a little bit stronger. Still not quite as strong as them. But we're going to come together here. Uh, yep, yeah, that is good. So plush, vibrant, and soft as the first light of dawn, a merchant presents me with an exquisite carpet in the hopes of good future relations. As I marvel at the fine weave, I am struck by a thought. Wouldn't a carpet like this muffle the treading of feet? Even conceal the steps of a bumbling agent? Gaton will be honored by such a gift. Yeah, let's do it. That is uh, moving along then. So my army's coming over here. Oh, but well, I mean, they're gonna make some progress against us. Well, so this war, that's gonna be lost. We're gonna lose that, which will be annoying, but I'd rather not lose, I'd, I'd rather put Arnaut in his place, preferably end his rule, but I don't think that'll happen. So we're gonna come in here and siege this. He's sieging over there. We have more coming in here. Do whatever was swayed. We can stop swaying him. Intrigue. Yes, we can stop that. He voted the way we needed to. Uh, the existence of my plot to murder Gaton has been discovered. While my involvement is yet to known, is not yet known, this will make it a lot more difficult. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's go ahead and keep going. All right, these armies are gonna come together. My prisoner has died. There is a new faction for populist uprising. It has proven difficult to gain access to him during his house arrest. However, my agents have found an old servant from the court at Eitstadt, willing to pose as a friend of Gaton's, having come to visit. Arm the servant and send her on her way. It's worth a try. An unwelcome guest. He still lives. Perhaps I should have planned this better. As soon as the old friend enters his room, he called for the guards. Had he been warned? Unfortunately, it seems the servant had no compu compunction about revealing my involvement in the plot in order to save her own life. Okay, so I gain dread. Uh, he gains watchful, and he is not happy with me, but I mean, he's not in a good position anyway. And his close family members are upset. That's fine, though, because I don't think any of them are electors here. Yeah. And also, what happened to that other guy? Where's Prince Udi's? Uh, he didn't... Uh, he's not voting anymore. Okay, uh, spouse, divide and conquer. Count Guicard has been actively supporting Count Arnaut in his faction to install Igalona on the Asturian throne. However, my wife has a plan to change that. Trust me, the things I could tell Count Guicard would make him disavow Arnaut in an instant. Made sure he never supports him again. Yeah, let's do that. Which means he left the war. And this is much more winnable now. Okay, we're gonna merge these. Okay. So we are making progress here. And that one isn't going so good. Primarily because oh, they actually don't have all that much more. We might be able to fight them off. We need to win this first, though. So we're going to win this siege, and then we're going to go over here and take that. But we don't really have the money to pay our mercenaries a second time. 
Okay, uh, my grandson has been harboring a secret affection for Arsend for some time. A daughter of the Count Arnot? Oh, man. However, when he finally confessed her feelings, she responded harshly. But no surprise, I mean, her father is our, like, sworn enemy. Now, our grandson mutters whenever he, whenever she passes by. Okay, can keep the trait vengeful. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We won that siege. Let's go ahead and come right over here and go right to the Calenda capital. We're strong. We should be able to do this pretty quick. And then, see, I don't know where his army is. Is that the enemy here? I think so. Yeah, enemy army. My grandson has been captured. Who are, who? Ah, uh, he's next in line. Ah, uh, that's not good. Can we come in here and just get out of this? We can surrender. He will gain the title of a duchy title. Yeah, sure. Give it to him. That's fine. Now my son, Prince Yudi. Oh man, oh those are my siblings, okay. He does not have a duchy anymore. Which is too bad. Especially because then he can't vote here. Uh, empty council position. Council. Need a new marshal. Oh, I can recruit this guy. He's a good one. He's a little bit younger, but let's go ahead and do this. Ten gold. That's not bad. You can be a marshal. Forget the powerful vassals. I'd much rather have uh, powerful people or like skillful counselors. Okay, so he's trying to do stuff down there. We're just trying to take his capital real quick. And we're gonna do that. And hopefully capture some people. That didn't do anything. All right, come down here. 37% here. We haven't had any battles. He's trying to take a whole bunch of stuff here. My cousin was taken prisoner. And he took some land, I think, probably. Yeah, I mean, we have the troops that we could go down and crush them, but I also, I want to take all of his land and then we'll go down and crush him. I don't know how long we have the mercenaries, though. Uh, where is that? Hired by me, 20 months left. That's not very long, but that's okay. My nephew has been released, which is good. Levy volunteers. Okay, that's good too. We are doing quite a bit here. Uh, I can create a duchy of Asturias. That would be good because then we should be able to grant that to my son. Oh, but I don't have the money. Okay, so we need more money. Can we ask the Pope for money right now? Nope. Okay. I want to give that duchy to Yudi so that he can vote in the election, though. As soon as we have the ability to do that. And we have another thing here. Oh, look at that. We can do this. You'll lose a little bit of opinion in me. You don't like me all that much anyway. Oh, now you won't accept. Shoot, so close. I am the culture head of France. Uh, King Rudolph died. Which means... West Francia and Aquitaine have split. Now that is... 
excellent news. Oh, uh, Brittany holds that. So, he's not super strong. He has an alliance with somebody. Just this one little vassal, okay? My armies are raised, but eventually we might be able to put a claim in for that some of that land that we've been trying to get. Okay, come over here, take this next. Get another stewardship perk. Honor to serve. Powerful vassal lights me a lot more. Very good. What does administrator give me? More vassal opinion. Okay. So this is all going well. That's occupied by Brittany. That's why it's not so good. Oh, but that means... These guys are trying to make a claim on some of my land while they're at it too. This King of Brittany. I swear, he is interesting. Oh, somebody took my spot as culture head. That's fine. And okay, get that money. Oh, thank you. Uh, what is this? Wait. Yep, you've given me money. Very good. See, and I feel like that Pope what does he have here? Scarred? Disfigured? Oh, right. those are not health issues, but he is 64, so he won't be around forever. We're over here sieging now. It's a neutral army. That's not even in my land. Why is this? Um, is that part of... Occupied by Brit... Uh, wait, are we at war? No, we're not at war with Brittany. Why is he occupying my land? That's kind of strange. Because we're not allied with him. He's not part of my dynasty. He's not in this. Yeah, so why is he occupying my land? That's kind of weird. But, okay, we'll let that keep going for now. We're occupying that. We've got 50% of that now. That's Brittany again. We're going to go up there. At some point, we really ought to come down here and fight them. In fact, we should do that before we leave these guys. Come down here, break these sieges. Is that going to cost 30 gold? All right. It's worth it. We'll do it. We'll get down there. We're not going to be able to create that Duchy of Asturias just yet. But that's not a big deal because Yudis is going to be the heir. Yeah, they all like him, which is very good. Should keep it that way. We're losing more land down here. That is expiring. How much is it going to cost? 272. We're in debt for this. But it's going to be... It's going to help us take this back over. And then win this war. Punish our cousin. Here, come over here. What is this? You will not stand for your vile oppression. Okay, another populist uprising. It's fine. Come over here, break the siege. Where is the populist uprising? Down here. That's fine. Fine, fine, fine. They are running. They better run. They're gonna lose. In the meantime, how old am I now? 57. Could keep going here. 
There we go. Here we go. This is a big battle. We need to defeat Arnold. We have some good benefits here, and that should go. Wounded. My injured vassal, my steward, has been wounded, and the injury runs deep. I fear that he will not be strong enough. There is nothing that can be done. I'm sorry, dude. The rite of clergy, Mayor Frederick, recites a passage with a wavering voice from the scriptures held in front of him and then stands silent. Frederick has proven to be a member of the clergy, Archbishop Guter states, standing right next to the prisoner and treating me to a scornful look. As such, he must be placed under clerical custody. Uh, yeah, okay. You can leave or don't trip on the way out. He could die after his release. I mean, he lights me. I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this is going to come back over here. We have a pretty strong war score now in that war. Want to win that and then go crush the uprising. Can get another dynasty legacy here. Uh, we are paused. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do I want to go for? This is the first one we've had. Warfare. We can fight better. My guy is a steward, and I think that sound administration just rule in the eyes of the vassal sounds good. Mostly fair would be popular opinion up higher. I think that over here, what vibrant court? No, that's not worthwhile. I think that is the best one here for my character. I think he would choose that. I mean, popular opinion goes up. So there would be less issues with control. Let's do that. We are mostly fair. Okay. Our dynasty, at least. All right, we're coming over here. Uh, unpaused game. Actually, that is where we will leave it today. So that's it. We have fought some stuff. We lost some territory, which was unfortunate. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.